type 10 on my phone, um, how to get help when you're being targeted. And some things came up, being bullied, if you're treating unfair, if you're being treated unfairly. I went deep, so. Targeting, you know, the, the government has some information out on here, like. I don't know what this is, but this might be something, I don't know if you have to pay for it, maybe. Something might be, you know, you might, um, anxiety, um, how to get loneliness, relationships, trauma. This would be considered trauma, I believe, what's happening to us. Yes, I think you have to, you have to pay a day pass for just $15. So I'm guessing this is, um, this is a little bit expensive. So I don't know what it is, but anyway, I just saw that. Okay. Help for targeted individuals. This is probably just generic from the from the web from 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 the web. I don't know. Defender for targeted individual. Protect yourself from psychic and electronic attacks. It's just a, something selling something. I saw. I've seen this on Amazon. It's like about two hundred dollars or something, two seventy nine or something. I didn't get it though. Because someone got it and they said there was nothing in it. To be honest with you, the one thing that I want, if I could get somebody to help me with this freaking hacking so I could just get on with my life and my business, that would be fantastic. Housing scams here. Um, all right. This, I got this on my phone, so I had to type it in here to find it. Look at this right here. Uh, this is on wired.com. Wired.com has a lot of, um, I'm not familiar with it. It's like one of those, like, BuzzBeat or something, you know, BuzzFeed or whatever. So let's see. I was reading this. I thought this was interesting. Lots of people think that the government is using implanted chips and electronic beams to control their minds. They're desperate to prove that they aren't delusional. Yet I can identify with that. Every morning, Liza wakes up and remembers she's been tortured. She looks down at her hands and she can see raised, raised bumps where she believes she's been implanted with microchips. She is certain that the chips track ev her every move that her family has been programmed not to listen. She knows that her mind had been pushed to the limits of human endurance, the most pain you could put on a person before they die. The targeting, the rewiring of her brain is so extreme that she can no longer even cry. I mentioned this before, because it seems to me like every time I get like I get emotional, I'm an empath and I get emotional at seeing a, a dog being rescued, like ha happy videos of kids and cats and old people. Anything that, that makes people get together and feel happy and, and is helpful makes me choked up. And as soon as I get the worst surge of emotion, something happens and it just dies. Like it almost dies in like a second and a half. It's almost like this woman wants to, uh, to suppress my emotions. Now, I don't know. This thought had occurred to me that maybe she's trying to experiment with me. But I guess it's somebody else here is, you know, it's happening to someone else as well. And look at the thing to notice is she worked at Microsoft for 10 years and started her own web development company. See, and her partner before the electronics, the electronic attacks. She's she worked at Microsoft, she knows the inside out. She has access, has had access to Microsoft, uh, their, their intel, their intelligence, their the way how they work, codes. She has all these things. They're crawling and they're trawling our heads to get this information. 
Like they are the ones who are creative now, the newest computer, the newest alternative, um, open source, whatever. It's all bullshit. These are people who did their work. They did their work and they did their work and they, they built themselves up and they made something of themselves. They're smart people, they're intelligent people, they're people who know how to get things done, they're productive people. Now you have all these vagabonds out there buying information like your head is like an encyclopedia this is this is your this is book well you're, de you're dealing with the g's here you have guns you have games you have all these things they're getting like this the condensed version of it and they're using it to, to target people they're, they're putting together these microwaves makeshift things i believe and they're using it to target people this is their ceiling. They're not going to go past that. That's it for them. Because if they had any type of humanity, any type of awareness, any type of intelligence, these are not intelligent people by any means. That's not our fault. That's their fault. They There's always a choice. They are choosing to do this to people. Let's look at this here and where she said she was going. Uh, she this all this all this she did, and she said she was going. Uh, it was late October when my Uber uh, slowed to a stop in the woods after dark. My driver seemed alarmed. We had driven to the forests outside Boston, up a rocky, limited access road with few lamps and no residences in sight. We pulled to a stop at the top of a hill with a few low cinder block buildings in the distance. It was dead quiet. Where are you going? He asked. I tried my best to explain I was going there to attend the first ever Unity and Hope Conference, a weekend gathering of our targeted individuals. The individuals were there to learn and organize and to be reminded they were not alone. This is very, very important to us, as you know, because everyone thinks we're well, we're batshit crazy. Let's, let's face it. It's better to just say it out loud and get past it. This is what they do. Um, and you can get this, get this out there. You can read it. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. And um, they go into a lot, you know. It's like, you're not alone. These people know. There's a lot of people. Um, I don't want to be sitting, I always don't want to see myself as a targeted individual. I want to see myself as a woman who, are, who, who is being targeted by a group of chuckleheads with nothing better to do. Unproductive, lazy scammers looking for an easy way to make money. It's easy for them to play Russian roulette when the gun is pointed at someone else's head. Isn't it easy? It's easy to play Russian roulette when you're pointing the gun at somebody else's head. And you don't care about that person. In fact, you would be better off financially if, if the person were dead. Do the math on that. And see how easy it would be for them to play it. Let's, let's turn those weapons, those microwaves, imagine they were guns, turn them against their own head and see what will happen. They're not going to be so quick to pull that trigger. Like the person who spritzes and sprays me, every time she does it, it's like a weapon. How many bullets has she fly? Has she, has she, has she, has she shot at me for two years? Because anyone, it, it's making me dizzy and it's making me feel like, I, like I'm, my chest is on fire. I'm thinking my lungs, you know, could collapse at any time. My voice is so good. It's by sheer, it's by sheer uh, uh, bitch. The bitch in me is keeping me alive. I will not give her the satisfaction. I will not give this woman the satisfaction. I will not. It's the sheer bitch in me is keeping me alive. And my cat too. The sheer bitch in her as well. She went, she's going through the same thing I am. But anyway, uh, just get out there and look at these things. You could find some stuff that you... Um, you know... Uh, I will... So post some links. I got some links from someone's page. Um, 
on here. I was talking about a Chinese guy in, um, in, in China whose the same thing was happening too. So at least he made it to the news. So let's see what will happen here. But he's one of those who got targeted by the police in China, some province in China, because he, he spoke out against something. So I'm going to stop this video.